Good morning, everyone. Um, happy fall. Is everyone else excited like I am? Because I'm so excited to say goodbye to the summer. <laughs> I've said this a million and one times on my channel, but um, Miami summers are just brutal. I don't even go to the beach in the summer just because it's way too hot. So I'm kind of excited to welcome the fall and experience um, better weather. Um, but on that note, the fall in Miami is a little bit different. You know, it's not the same as like in New York. I grew up in New York, so I kind of miss, you know, seeing the fall. Like you just go outside and you see the fall, the leaves, the beautiful colors. You don't really get that here in Miami. Everything's pretty tropical weather. You know, it's tropical weather, so um, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is maybe the weather starts to get a little bit better. Um, but that's pretty much it. So the only way that I really kind of celebrate and get myself into the spirit of things is really just maybe buying a, maybe a few trinkets or like a mug or um, maybe a little pumpkin to decorate somewhere because I did want to do that last year. But last year we were still kind of dealing a little bit with COVID. I had the small baby. She's a little bit older now and things are better. So now I can get out more and do all the things that I didn't get to do last year or the year before. So I'm excited for that. And um, maybe I'll get a little pumpkin spice um, latte at Starbucks. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Target or to Marshalls or Home Goods because I love all three. Um, but we'll see because I like Target because everything is there. But I also love um, the thrill of the hunt. You know, you never know what you're going to find in Home Goods or Marshalls. So we'll see. I'll decide in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm going to take you girls with me. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to Target. I decided to go to Target um, and it's packed. <laughs> because I didn't even know where to film today because my house is so dark it's like the nighttime right now but um, by the time this goes up you probably will have heard already um, Florida and hurricanes we're always getting hurricanes uh, actually recently in the recent years we've been kind of lucky but it's just part of Florida we do get hurricanes and this time around um, the hurricane is kind of heading towards Tampa which is unfortunate for them um, and so here we're getting kind of like residual weather from that like we're getting lots of rain it's super dark and um i'm wearing <laughs> a very beautiful dress but the worst dress to wear in this weather and it's um my reformation dress that i got on sale 
um, recently. This kind of looks like my white one, but it's a little bit different. The sleeves are slightly different and the color is oatmeal. Um, and the other one's like very, very white. But I did get this on sale. I didn't get to wear it because I just recently received it. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this, but I figured I'll wear it today because um, I just came back from seeing a friend that has um, a toddler just like me and we had breakfast and in the morning it wasn't raining like it is right now so I got away with wearing it but I know that probably later when I go pick up the kids I'm gonna have to change because yeah definitely not the kind of dress to wear um, in this weather but I'm gonna make myself a delicious pumpkin spice um, coffee let me show you I got well you already saw in the clip I got this cute little mug for the fall so so cute oh it's not focusing um it says farm fresh pumpkin so so cute and i also got this skinny sauce um that's flavored like pumpkin spice so we'll see if it tastes good but um i want to try it so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna get some of the cookies that you saw you saw like a big box of cookies um they're actually just sugar cookies but my kids got real excited when they saw the like autumn decor on it and um yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and when farah goes to sleep i'm gonna go upstairs and show you the stuff i got from h&m which um i'm excited to show you because i'm working on a capsule wardrobe a fall capsule wardrobe on video which is going to be curated with mostly like staple pieces things that will carry you um right into the winter you know you would obviously just tweak a couple of things here and there if it gets colder but um i'm excited for that video um so yeah i'm gonna work i'm gonna be working on that so i'm kind of ordering stuff from different places i'm gonna use some of the older things that i have that are still available kind of incorporate some closet pieces as well and um yeah we're gonna do that um she's having a little lollipop <laughs> say hi Farah. hi say hi my name is Farah. My name is Farrah. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Lately, she's been really, um, name. how do you call it? Just sassy. I asked her the other day if she was um, tired. We were driving to pick up the other kids. And I asked her, are you tired? And she said, no, mom, I'm on fire. And I was like, where did you get that from? Like, she must have heard that on some kind of a cartoon or something. Or maybe one of her siblings said that. But she's sassy as ever. Anyways, I'm we're gonna go eat some cookies. Yeah, we're brushing our teeth with that. Um and yeah. All right, so Farah's taking a little nap. So this is my opportunity um, to kind of show you girls, um, to kind of show you the things that I got. But I'm gonna start off with my favorite thing in the whole, well, I only got three things, but this one is my favorite one. And it's this beautiful, rich brown trench coat. It's like a suede trench coat. It's so beautiful. It's very long, which I wanted. I wanted a longer, um, trench coat because the one that I have from Ralph Lauren is shorter and more fitted kind of like the Chelsea from Burberry It's that kind of style. So I wanted one that would be a little bit more oversized, which is huge um, for this season and I also wanted it to be a different color um, They do have one in beige, which is stunning. I, I really almost got that one, but then 
I decided on this beautiful brown one because I'm having a phase with brown. I really just am. I love brown this season. And two, because I already have the Ralph Lauren trench coat, which is um, like a khaki, a, you know, like a nude or a khaki. So I really wanted to just add something brown to um, my coat. It's just such a huge color this season. But also, I want to say that in my opinion, the coat to wear in the fall is a trench coat. That's usually when people take that trench coat out of their wardrobe and wear it. Mainly because, you know, obviously in the winter in some places it gets way too cold and usually people will wear their wool coats just to keep warmer. So usually the fall is when you um, go and grab that trench coat. So a trench coat is a must for the fall, for the fall wardrobe. So I'm so excited to add this to my um, wardrobe and also style it for my um, upcoming capsule wardrobe because I think this is just a piece that, like I said, you just have to add to your wardrobe. This one's a little bit thicker, so you could, if you layer properly, potentially wear it in the beginning of the winter. And the best part is the price, okay? Because I was so surprised with this price, especially now that everything is so pricey, everything has gone up. Um, the quality on this is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, it was only $64.99, so you can't get better than that. A long coat like this, and um, suede just absolutely beautiful um, yeah I think it's very reasonably priced so I must have all right next I got um, I really wanted to get like a very very chunky sweater um, more of a knit if anything but I wanted it to be um, chunky so that I could kind of play around with the silhouettes and wear it with um, maybe like sleek trousers or a pencil skirt and this is the one that I chose from H&M it's very 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 chunky as you can see it's like a braided um, style and it's just beautiful it looks like it's cropped but to be honest it kind of ends right where your pants would begin so it's not technically cropped but it's perfect for um, kind of tucking in just a little bit inside the pants it looks very very beautiful has very like um, puffy sleeves which i wanted and what i love about this one in particular because it does come in other colors is this beautiful um kind of like an aqua color i think this is a beautiful color to add to the fall wardrobe because it goes beautiful with brown nude um bronzy type of colors it's just a beautiful color to add to add a little bit of light to the typical fall colors which tend to be like brown and just darker and warmer i think it's great to incorporate this into a wardrobe so i'm excited to style it cannot wait and it was very affordable i think i paid maybe 20 something for it and then the next one staying in the theme of browns which i just kind of um admitted that i have a bit of a of an obsession with brown right now i purchased this beautiful blazer um from, again of course H&M such a beautiful rich dark brown this is a different brown from the trench coat it's just slightly darker and it's just beautiful I think it's a great um, blazer to again add to your fall wardrobe that you can of course wear in the winter as well and this pairs up very beautiful with all your neutral colors even with this color if you see it against it it's such a beautiful combination um, very stylish so yeah, and I did get it in a size small. So it's slightly oversized, but that's, you know, that's the point. It's not too oversized, like the sleeves are nicely fitted, um, but the rest is a little bit oversized. So I cannot wait to style this um, in my next video. I'm gonna have some fun with this. So I obviously have to steam it. I have to start styling all the pieces. All right, so that's all for my um, three items that I did get from H&M. They have beautiful stuff right now um, that you could um, get for like staple pieces for your wardrobe. But um, I really want to be mindful with what I'm picking out for this haul because like I said, I really want to just keep it very minimal but kind of work with those pieces and style them. Um, so yeah, this is all that I got from there. I do have some sweaters coming from Banana Republic, which I have mentioned time and time again. It's my favorite store. It's one of my favorite stores. It really, really is. Um, I love their pieces because they just have core pieces, beautiful pieces that you can incorporate into your wardrobe. So I'm waiting for those things. And um, 
yeah i'm gonna be working on that haul but i'm gonna go ahead and also bring two new products that i forgot to mention to you girls that i added to my makeup routine which i'm loving because my skin um recently has been going through just like a little bit of dryness and so i felt like i really needed to change my foundation and maybe add a product or two because yeah just the born this way one was just kind of drying my skin and i think anyways foundation should be something you change every now and again it's kind of like the shampoo you should change it sometimes because your skin does kind of get used to it sometimes it dries your skin um and i've said before i love glowy makeup i don't like matte makeup at all so this one is very very pretty um very glowy i did my makeup hours ago in the morning and it's still really nice and shiny which i love um but i'm going to show you the two things that i got let me go and grab them okay so i'm going to start off with this one which i believe is pronounced um say i don't know if it's say or sai i think it's say um but it's this um bottle right here and this is just something you would put almost like a primer on your skin honestly lately i've been putting it on just like that when i don't want to put any foundation which i've mentioned before sometimes i don't wear foundation so i've been using my merit products my eyebrow products everything like very natural but i put this on first and it's just beautiful you really don't need anything else but if you want more coverage mixing this with the foundation is just beautiful the one thing i would say that i do with this is that i wait for it to dry before I put my foundation on. This way it kind of stays put. That's why my makeup is literally just, let me see if I can get closer. And it looks like I just put my makeup on. But um, absolutely love this. You have to try it. I will go ahead and link it down below because this is a great product. I'm very excited to use it. I had heard so many content creators talk about it. Of course, I've seen it on TikTok, on Instagram. And finally, I took the plunge because I felt the need to do so. And I love that I've added this to my makeup because like I said, it stays put. I find that it keeps the foundation nice and glowy. And I also added the very famous <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, which I mean, I'm sure you've heard this before because this is literally everywhere and anywhere. I'm just a person that lives in a cave and takes forever to buy something <laughs> but um finally i decided to um purchase this and give it a try and i love it i love it love love it i don't know how this would be on someone that um perhaps has maybe oily skin because it's 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 very like soft and kind of oily a little bit so I, I wonder how it would be for someone like that i have combination skin i haven't broken out since i started using it um which if i do break out it will usually be like right here or maybe right here like on my t-zone but i haven't seen that happen so um so far so good and i just really i'm loving this nice glowy makeup i think it's really pretty and youthful but i just wanted to share with you girls just in case you were needing some new products also yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna end this little vlog here i really just wanted to kind of um say hello you know do a small vlog just to let you know that i'm here i'm here to stay <laughs> and um i'm just kind of working on everything and just kind of trying to juggle it all just like my other um just like I'm sure maybe some moms would know or girls that are going to school and trying to do this as well. It's kind of hard to juggle it all, but I'm getting the hang of it. And I just wanted to say hello and wish everyone a happy fall. And um, yeah, I'm excited for my next video. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and connect with me on my Instagram at House of Heidi Miami. I would love to hear from you girls as well. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and see everyone next time. Bye.